Coming up, let's hear from Ustream and check out their latest developments in their live video platform here at NAB 2015. You're watching YBL TV. Ustream has been around since 2007. How has it evolved over the years and what's new here at NAB 2015? We have been changing a lot. So, you know, originally the platform was started for consumers and individuals to share whatever they wanted to very simply through a phone or through a desktop browser. But now we've made it into this platform that enterprises can use to use video to reach their customers or even to help them communicate well with their internal uh, stakeholders or employees. Tell us about Ustream Align. Sure, so you stream a line. If you want to communicate in a TV-like way with your employees everywhere in the globe and let people watch live and recorded video easily, but do that in a very secure way because you're going to share confidential internal information about the company, then you stream a line allows you to do that really easily. Let's talk about you stream demand. You've got all these viewers coming to your live stream, but you want to capture their information. That's critical. Right. So, you know, uh, video is evolving, of course. At first, people were happy enough that they could just get it to work on every device. But now we're kind of in the new area where it's got to do a bit more. It's got to get to work for us. So Ustream Demand is about putting video to work for you. If you want to drive the growth of your company by selling and using video to support that, again, either live or recorded, Ustream Demand allows you to do that and to capture information about the people who are interested in your products. And then you can pull that information into your marketing system so you can continue to work on turning them into customers. How can we integrate a remote connection such as live you with Ustream? Well, if you have a system that will give you access to the internet remotely, then it's very straightforward. You'll just use your camera, you'll attach an encoder, you'll use the internet access that that remote system like LiveView will provide, and then you'll be able to stream up to our ingest point using that internet connection. And from there, we'll distribute to all of your audience everywhere in the world. Let's talk about some of your add-ons. You stream live ad. Yes, certainly. Glad to talk about that. Yeah, so live ad is a pretty revolutionary technology. Uh, one problem that a lot of people who do live streaming have is figuring out how to get the audience to be aware of the exciting event they're covering at the moment that they're covering it. Having them find out later, of course, doesn't help if it's live, although you can still have them watch an on-demand version. But Live Ad solves this. It lets you take your live event video and it puts it inside a rich media ad unit. And then we publish that ad unit on websites where you think the audience that you're likely to be able to attract uh, frequently visits. They see it in the browser. They can see the video running. They can actually see live video in the ad unit. And then if they decide they want to listen, they can click on it, hear the sound, interact with that ad unit, even come all the way back to your site and start to interact with the other assets you have there. David, let's get your thoughts on the future of TV, IoT, anything related to that field. Yeah. What is it? Uh, you know, uh, that's a great question. And as the saying goes, predictions are hard, especially about the future. <laughs> But uh, I think you know what we're seeing in the last uh, even year or so is an incredible movement towards over-the-top video and broadcasters finally starting to embrace what that change can mean. For the first time, I would say I've seen that people are actually ready to take some steps to ensure that there's a really easy and, and uh, a convenient experience for consumers to watch whatever content they want to watch online in exactly the same way as they're able to do through traditional TV outlets. And that's a huge step. It's one that's been a long time coming. The momentum has really started to gather in the last six months, and I'm really impressed to see it.